Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to this week's Sleepy Sunday stream. Yeah, that seems to be coming through. Great. So, yeah. We resumed these last week with the excellent uh, Dim Haven Enigmas. And I thought this week I wanted to go to another game that I've had on my playlist for a while. And that's Rogue Voltage. Now, if you know anything about other games I've played, uh, you will have seen me potentially have play... Either, you will have seen that I potentially played um, The Signal State, which is a Zach tronics like game all about wiring up modular synths. You might have seen that I work on sort of a software modular synth occasionally on the channel, and that then my game CRT7 very much has synths going off in the background kind of procedurally generating music as we go. Well, this is a roguelike in that vein, and you'll probably see quite soon after we start it why I was interested to try this. A couple of disclaimers up front. I have played about a minute of this just to make sure it's working, and obviously, as it says over here, we're in early access, so there might be some wonkiness, there might be some balance issues, etc, etc, because it's not been out that long in early access. But I've had my eye on this for a while, so I guess let's get going and see what this is all about, because I really have very, very minor ideas about what it's about. So, please tell me what the game is. The year is 3000 and something. The world... dot dot dot. Well, let's say it's gotten pretty much destroyed. Yeah. The few survivors of the Gravistoff, oh god, live in scattered campsites of gravitonic gravity spikes. Gratastrophe? Is that what they, that was supposed to be? Okay. So yes. Hello to why I'm very interested in this game. We have a modular synth rack. And yeah. I haven't got into modular hardware synths in real life. Because they terrify me and my bank balance. But I do love plugging some wires together. Oh, it's, it's a thing for me, and I'm really looking forward to this. So look, mm, wires, 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 jacks, lovely. Output jack, input jack, interesting. Okay, modular rack. In Rogue Voltage, you construct machines from modules that you wire together. Got it. Energy. Modules run on energy points. Some generate it, some amplify it, or store it, and others consume it for effects. So I guess, yeah, this generates one energy, as we can see down there, on activation, which I guess is flipping that big old switch. So then I mean, what's this then? Blaster. Deals damage to target enemy. So I assume what we can do is we can just click there and, ooh, wibbly wibbly wires, and plug it into there. Click one end. Ooh, little spark effects as well. well someone needs to ground their equipment. Um, yeah, so... When we grab a wire, it's like we're unplugging it from that end. Okay. Does right click do anything? All right, right click just undoes the wiring. Fine, got it. Input and output jacks of matching colors. So I guess we can assume that there's like, they all run on slightly different voltages and you don't want to plug like a nine volt thing into a five volt thing because it will blow it up. I wonder if circles are outputs and hexagons are inputs. That would be a nice touch. Let's do that anyway. Got it. And we are Slopper Johnson. Oh, Slopper, mate. You didn't win the naming stakes, did you? So this is us. And this is some sort of very grimy looking fox man. Oh, we can click on it. Fox. These meanies know how to sneak up behind you and ambush you. When they land a hit, I swear you can hear them chuckle. They have a poor attack that deals one damage to the enemy. Can we click on us then? I guess there's no point. Right, well, click the switch. Yep. Energy went along the cable, did that, shot the fox, and the fox swiped us in return with their paw. Okay. Backpack. In the backpack, you can store modules and exchange them between characters. Okay. I guess that means we get more than one character. Take the healing potion into your rack, but you don't have to use it just yet. Healing Potion, Effector Module, applies healing to the owner. That's very, very clicky, okay. 
Uh, well, I guess that's a module that takes an input, so let's put it up there. Yeah, because that's an input jack there. There's an output jack there. On the top. Hmm, interesting. Not sure how I feel about that, because that's not obviously an output jack. But it's in that orientation. But anyway, got it. How much does this heal us for? It just says applies healing to the owner. We don't know how much. But if we heal, I assume the fox over here will just attack us again. So we'll be down here. So we're better to just shoot it, I think. Then it can't attack us again. Loot. Take the loot module into your rack. An amplifier plus one. It adds plus one energy to the current. This one converts from green to red. However, it is cracked, so it'll be destroyed after use. That's what the little bin symbol means, is it? Oh, right, this has got a cracked, will be destroyed after activation as well. Right. Well, I, might, I mean, you might as well take it because we've got space. Cool. Tutorial. Our story begins on a day like any other. Slopper Johnson. <laughs> Such an unfortunate name. Our post-apocalyptic parcel carrier. That's some alliteration there. Is looking for modules to bring back to his camp. I guess we've got like a FTL or Peglin or Slay the Spire or Pick Your Game of Choice sort of path thing going on. So we've done a fight there. So we're going to fight. Random encounter fight boss, I guess. Chain reactions. Have you noticed your cure sensor? Is that what that is? Only kind of. Sensor modules can produce a lot of energy and allow for powerful chain reactions. Let's build your first one. Oh, I guess that's why it's got the satellite dish. So this just generates power, but this one generates one energy whenever a player character receives healing. Sensors lose all energy at the end of the owner's turn. So I'm going to guess there's batteries or something that we can buy as well. Okay. Chain reactions. If you activate the healing potion with the generator, Slopper Johnson will receive one healing. This triggers the cure sensor, which will generate one energy. Root it through the amplifier for a strong two damage blast. Right. Let's delete the wiring we've currently got. And just for my own brain, let's split those out. Okay, so what it's suggesting is that we use our one initial energy and that we put that into this healing potion thing, which is cracked, so it'll be destroyed after one use. That will get us back up to five health. Then this thing will generate one energy whenever a player is healed. Any player character is healed. Which will come out of that... Will come out of that output jack into that input jack. Oh, I see. And it adds one energy because it's an amplifier. It adds one energy to the current. So one will come out of here. It will become two in here. We also change the voltage from green to red. I can then wire into there. So that will mean we heal and do two damage. Interesting. <laughs> this is what I was saying about it being useful, that these ports have different inputs and outputs, because it makes it quite obvious we're coming from here into here, out of here into here. So maybe that's something they do in early access. They make it really obvious that they shape all the ports because that one's a bit unclear. Anyway, I guess let's see this going. That goes up there. Heal. That triggers. That fires into there. Gets amplified. Fires into there. We do two shots. Fox goes down. All of our things explode. Okay, a condenser with a green input. Not only can it store energy, but it also amplifies it. Right, so let me go. There's the battery I was thinking we'd have eventually. Can be charged or discharged. Amplification 1 adds 1 to the incoming energy. Stores up to 2 energy throughout turns and battles. Yeah, so that's what that little display is in. It's saying that if we put 1 energy into this, it will store 2. And green has to come in. And I guess red has to go out? There seems to be some language as well the output jacks tend to be near the top and input jacks tend to be near the bottom which is helpful as well though again the shapes would be a nice additional thing okay 
Let's do our random encounter. Event, brotherly reunion. Brother, wait, you forgot your regeneration cell. So, wait. Slop, Slopper Jackson and Slopper Johnson? All oh, right, maybe Slopper is our title. Like, you could be a... Because that's where a lot of surnames come from, right? Things like Cooper, they came from Barrel Makers. So I guess maybe it's the other way around that we have title and then some sort of name. Brother, wait, you forgot your regeneration cell. Isn't it your most important module? Whoops. Let's get rid of those monsters together. Okay, so switch over to Slopper Jackson's rack. I guess that's what these are for. Ooh, what's that? Decelerator inflicts any target with a grav charge. Oh... Oh no, we're going to figure that out soon, I'm sure. Uh, move the regeneration cell into the shared backpack. I guess that's this. Can be charged at the beginning of the owner's turn. Remove one stored energy to apply one healing to the player character with the least HP. Heals the owner if tied. Okay. So we put it into our little backpack, which can only store four modules. We move back to us, and we put it in our backpack. Okay. Fight. Oh, 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 hello. The timeline. The timeline shows the succession of the upcoming turns. Now it is Slopper Johnson's turn. Afterwards, the clock time will tick forwards, and in four steps, it'll be the Chrono Cat's turn. Two steps later, it'll be Slopper Jackson's turn. Right, so... Whoever gets to here does an action... The timeline ticks forwards until the next person on the timeline. Oh, there's also a fox on this level as well, apparently. Don't know what those white dots are. Oh, maybe that's the time until we get to take our next action. So, like, you have maybe some stat that says how soon at the start of the battle, but also you have, like, a stat that says how long it takes you to take another fight, like another go even, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and six for our younger brother, because they are more spry and less destroyed by this horrible world. Got it. Oh, there we go. See, that's a highlighted circle in seven steps. That's where your next turn will be. Yeah, okay. Sorry, game. I'm preempting your tutorial. Charge the regenerator cell. Let's prepare your next chain reaction. Use this turn to charge your regenerator cell. At the beginning of Slopper Johnson's next turn, it will apply one healing. That will trigger the cure sensor again. Right, so to charge it, we do that. And then we might as well set this up, I guess. What? Can only be discharged. Can only... Oh, because this is different to the thing we used before. So that's saying can only be charged or discharged at a time. Okay. But I guess what we want to do is we still want to wire that into there. And then we can discharge it another turn. Okay, got it. I click that. I charge that. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Grav charge. Okay. Turns can move backwards or forwards in time by applying a grav charge plus or a grav charge minus to a combatant. We've just got knocked back to by the Chrono Cat that is going full. Like, just full haunted Blair Witch monster over there. Grav charge slows down combatants. Grav charge minus accelerates combatants. Yep, fine. That Chrono Cat just applied plus two to the Slopper Johnson pushing his turn behind that of the Fox. Yeah, I saw that. Timeline control. Slopper Jackson can also manipulate the timeline with his decelerator minus one. I guess that's that. Oh, hang on. Oh, they've got a better generator than us. It generates green and blue voltage. So I guess. Why would I not just wire both up? Yeah. So will it. Uh plus one. So that will do two damage 
or two grav charge positive, which will knock someone back. So I guess we want to knock the fox back two steps. And that will just do one normal damage. Yeah, push the fox's turn behind that of Slopper jo Johnson again. That way you can defeat it before it even gets to take its turn. Got it. What are you all about? And they've got a little... I guess that means this is someone who faffs about with the timeline. It might look much like a typical house, house cat. Um, okay. But that's where the similarities end. They, That and they might scratch you and the unreliable temperament. Okay, so they can either do a claw attack or a grav push. Right. Do I get to choose who I'm going to target or... Ah, there we go. Ooh, okay. Select a target for the decelerator. I can target them. <laughs> I like how that's wibbling. That's a very nice effect. So decelerate you. Okay. Can I not? I guess the tutorial's not letting me shoot that. Although, wouldn't it make a lot more sense to shoot that because I'm going to do two damage... Kill that anyway. Hmm. Did you see how the regeneration cell applied plus one healing to Slopper Johnson? That's triggered the cure sensor. It now holds one energy. Got it. Since modules lose all their energy if not discharged by the turn, root into the condenser where it will be amplified and stored. Yeah, fine. I see. So that's why it's telling us doing it this way. Then I plug it in like that. And then on this one. Right, so it's because this happens at the beginning of the turn, not when you activate it. So I was expecting during the activation this to all happen at once, but it can't because of the delays in that. And also, yeah, because... This happens at the beginning of the turn, and then this has to happen on activation, etc, etc. Fine, that makes sense. But if we do that, we can then uh, yeah, take out the fox, which makes sense. Now we have two in there. Your cure sensor has overloaded, which means that discharging it will set it on cooldown. Modules on cooldown cannot be activated for one turn, and sensors will not react to triggers. Yes, yeah, so you can't just can't just rag that. The battle rating. The earlier you end the battle, the better loot you will receive. Uh-oh. The rating bar shows how much time you have left per rating. Always aim for the best possible rating and receive more durable and valuable modules as, uh, valuable modules as loot. So we've got... Yeah, so we've got the gold bar. Yes, then silver. So we've got up to... Got a little bit to go. So that looks like is there a better version of gold here and then like a worse gold than a silver hmm anyway I guess what we want to do well there's nothing really to change on Slopper Jackson okay so yes yeah, so what we do is we fire this oh interesting you can decelerate your teammates we don't want to do that. I probably want to decelerate the cat so Johnson gets to go first. And then shoot it as well, yeah. And I discharge the condenser and we do it inside the bright gold. Skew the... Oh, to just skew the best crown rating. Let's... End the combat this turn. Discharge the condenser for a two damage blast. Don't forget to ch charge the regenerator cell again to set up a, a new sensor trigger for the next combat. Okay, so that can go in there. That can go in there. I guess that's important remembering is that this can this deals damage by how much we pump into it. So it's not necessarily just based on the gun, but also what current we pass in. So if they're going to use the term current, I guess I should use current and then voltage for the different colours would maybe make sense. Got it. Right, so we do that. That will charge that. 
That will discharge that, and that will kill the Chrono Cat. Lovely. A plasma converter with a universal input jack. Jackson, we will be rich. Let's put it in our backpack for now. I'll let you know when it's a good moment to use it. Converts energy into valuable plasma. Okay. I wonder if that's currency. Oh, right. Okay, boss battle. Strong gravio activity in these swamps must come from this scary giant mushroom. That scary giant mushroom, I guess. If we stick to what we have learned, we can defeat it. What do you do? This one must be the source of the smaller mushrooms we see around here. They must be communicating via a subterranean uh, rhizome. Chop this one down, would you? Boss spheres, or boss spores. Plus two to someone else. Yeah, inflicts all other combatants. All other combatants. Interesting, I assume that's the fox as well. With plus two and itself with minus three. Activation sets back next turn by one. Grav implosion removes plus one on an enemy and inflicts one damage. Right, so it's going to do grav nonsense on us and then remove it to do damage. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, right. So we've got something in the condenser. The next time somebody needs to be healed, they'll be healed. So I guess we want to put that up. I want to connect that in. For now. So that when someone's healed, that goes into there. And that can go into... Oh, wrong way around. That can go into there. Although it's not their turn yet. So yeah, there's nothing really to do here other than what we've got, so let's just fire that. Yeah, let's decelerate the fox. And I guess also... Shoot the fox and just take them out early. Alright, so that fires no matter whether or not someone needs healing. Interesting. Okay, but in this turn... In this turn we want to shoot the fox, store this up so we can do a big shot on them next turn, I think. Yeah, great. Okay. So it's... Jackson's turn again. Yeah, universe, I guess any voltage can go into there. Interesting. Uh, boss would be next, so let's decelerate them. Yeah, okay, so in draws, it's whoever's higher up the timeline goes first, it seems. Yeah, there's definitely good gold and bad gold by the look of it. Interesting. What is that? What's that? Grav Equilibrium, a permanent storm that circles the surface of the Earth. It levels local imbalances of Grav Charge. Grav Charge Plus is halved. Grav Charge Minus causes a Grav Spike. Grav Charge Minus on the combatant is completely removed and they receive half of it as damage rounded up. Oh no. So, making you appear sooner in the timeline can do damage to you. That's a worry. Right, so we plug that into there, we plug that into there. That's on cooldown. That'll do a couple of damage, I guess. I think that makes sense. Now it's the turn of the Grav Equilibrium. It regularly appears to equalise Grav charges on the battlefield. We read all of that. So that will now do... Half rounded up. So that will now do that one damage, right? Interesting. I 
didn't do us damage, but it reduced our delay. Interesting, okay. So again, we decelerate that behind our brother. Shoot it. Oh, here we go. This time, let's convert our excess energy to plasma, the currency of this destroyed world. Cool. With plasma, you can buy modules or revive characters after the fight. Re oh, no. That implies permadeath. Okay, great. So, I guess we bring this on the board. Then we want to wire that into there. Wire that, not that side, that side into there. So, we'll do one damage. We'll get guess one additional money got it yeah one damage is all we need okay but I guess if we delayed gratification we could put it into there and then in there and we'll get two money okay a potion factory plus one if I use it to construct healing potions we can generate even more energy with your cure sensor Ooh. And then we go back to camp. Back in camp, you can use your plasma to heal or revive your characters. You can also gradually restore buildings in which you can buy and upgrade modules. Okay, so this is the rogue light thing, I guess, where between each run, you're slowly improving the area you start with. So, yeah. You can get stronger and stronger each run you go. So what have we got? We've got... Module Workshop, buy rare modules with plasma. Then we have a campfire, get an additional module as an option for loot. Not part of the tutorial. Will be developed during early access. Part of the tutorial. Okay, well fine. Buy the module workshop and open it happen on a module vending machine take to buy drop to sell okay we can get another cure sensor donates one energy whenever a player character receives healing when discharge receives out of order until the end of battle that's no good amplifier adds plus one energy to the current the crust prevents module activation first incoming energy will permanently break the crust it's overloaded. This is can store up to free energy throughout turns and battles. Will not become locked after activation and can be freely exchanged between characters. Oh, so you can pass the energy between them. That's interesting. Okay, so this outputs blue. This is a universal jack. So I don't really want anything that outputs blue for slopper. This was quite good. I want this. Now are we going to sell anything into here? Oh, it's right, so this we can use as much as we want, but it creates potions that are cracked. Okay, well, this is the tutorial, so let's just leave. We've probably... I'll push any button. Push button to buy. Bye. Start the adventure. Okay. So that's the tutorial. This feels like this is going to get complicated. Yeah, this feels like it's going to get complicated. Okay, cool. Stage one, bog marshes. Bogs are supposed to decompose slowly, but with the unstable grav field here, time moves in fits and starts. Peat turns into coal in an afternoon. The mangroves grow so quick you can hear them squeak. Don't get near the mushroom spores or you'll blink and miss dinner. 
yeah, so we do have different routes through these little kind of runs as well. And it seems like we go through the bog marshes, then we weave up here, and then we weave up there. Fine, I guess. Oh, oh, new creatures. Gore. <laughs> Gorf. Grandpa Slopper used to love throwing these on the barbecue ever since the Gratostroph... Gra yes, Gravistrophacy? Gravistros... Yeah. Ever since the bad thing, they've been trying to do the same to him. Grav armor plus one, wherever it takes damage, inflicts the attack with plus one. Deals one damage, may remove plus one from the target to raise might by one. Definitely croak, remove all might. Why is Grav recoil to... Ooh. To all modules an enemy's rack. Well, I don't know what that means. Grav Cobra, a dangerous and memorizing creature. Best thing is you can always tell when they're mad at you by their posture. Trouble is, they're always mad. Incoming Grav Charge is amplified by one. Looks another pattern with plus two. Okay, cool. I don't have any clue what to do at this stage. Uh, but we've not... Oh, also, we don't have as much health anymore. We definitely had five in the tutorial. Uh-oh. Well, I guess let's just wire these two up for now. No, let's not skip the turn. And... Pushing them back's not going to do a huge amount, actually. baffled I think just do that yeah the best we can probably do is push yeah push them back behind us although we're all going to get messed about with a lot so I'm not entirely sure about this if I'm honest That's already knocked us back. Okay. Could do the healing thing. Oh, I should have shot the snake. I should have shot the snake. Because then I could have taken the snake out this turn. Right, okay. the frog. I'm just going to shoot the frog. Ow, ow. Alright. Some stuff definitely just occurred. Um, I think there's any point pushing them back. Um, let's do that, maybe. Make a potion. Knock them out. Apply 
has healing to owner. Oh, that's not how I thought that worked. Okay, so we're not going to get gold <laughs> in this. Because apparently I've already, like, completely fluffed it. Um, shoot the snake. Snake will do bad stuff to us. And... Storm? Oh, no. Just shoot the snake again, because I'm baffled. Oh, and a lot of achievements popped up. Although, yeesh. Oh, we can just get money by skipping these modules. What's that? Whenever a module of a different type on this rack should receive out of order, this module receives out of order instead. Uh, yeah, we don't need another potion factory. I don't think I've got anything that causes that, so I guess I'll just skip. Get the money. Although, yeah, the chance of me making it back to the camp is... Mm, you little mushroom. Toadstool all the size of a human. I didn't believe it when I heard. With their spores, they seem to be able to like dilate time. I wonder how they got to be that way. Right. Uh huh. I think I want you to go into there. Bring that in here and we'll just get that charged. Uh huh. There's no point pushing them back at this stage. So we are going to get you attacking and healing, I think. So that's now got a bunch of stuff in it. I want to trigger this and get this split. So we're going to put that into there and we're going to put that into there. What does that exactly mean? Prevents module activation. First incoming energy will permanently break the crust. Okay, so I can't wire out of that yet. So that actually might be a waste. Yeah, I need to do it at some point, so let's just do that. That breaks the crust. Okay, ow. Okay. Now, there is some point in pushing them back by two because that will mean then we have another go before them we are not doing we are apparently not playing this optimally at all seeing as we're not getting the gold anymore that's fine I am learning accelerate them shoot them cool right Oh, I. Mm. Yeah, if you take too long, it gets real nasty up there. I think we're just going to knock them out rather than do anything fancy again. Okay. So we get another blue energy thing. Which is fine, but not great, because we've already got one of them. Or we can get another cure sensor. Which we can use once. Might take that. 
just so we have a cure sensor on both of them. We can feed into that, and that allows us to then use their turn to generate another potion. Right, all our options we have fight, encounter, fight, I guess. That's maybe a shop. Let's go down the middle pathway. Healing station. It's already been used, but someone must have forgotten to take the module with them. Ooh. Adds healing to the owner. Adds plus two to the incoming energy. That's really nice. On activation, this module will construct a copy of itself. Copies on cooldown and loses replication one. So this is technically worth two, I guess. Let's put that in the backpack and carry on going. Goodbye. Okay. All oh, right, so we've got the mean frog and the rav cobra again. Okay, so they are doing badly. Uh, we probably want to push the cobra back so we can have another turn before the cobra. I am worried about them. But that's the same colour as we need for the one that pushes the them back. Could do that, but then that's at the start of the next player's turn. Might already be dead by then. So I think we just have to lump it and heal them. guess we can hook that up and that up to be stored. Let's see how that does us. that worked like I thought it was going to work. Because, you know, we got our cure sensor working, which then allowed us to also... So we healed, then this worked, which allowed us to fire the other thing, which allowed us to push them back. Oh, I can see this getting tricky to navigate. But then the nice thing here is one's going to go into there. Ah, but it can't be... No. Oh. No, 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 no. We put it into there. And then into there. That gets us two, which is enough to kill the frog, and we can put that in there for extra healing. That seems better. Right. And that's one of them taken out. Okay. Right. The question is... What now? I guess we've got something in the healing thing. That's out of action till the end of the battle, right? Yeah, that's out of order. So because we've got the healing thing... Is that still on cooldown? It cannot be wired. Yeah, okay. I guess we just want to do this. Actually, we don't need to knock the snake back, so we can just make we can use this to make another potion. So we're gonna hopefully kill the snake before it's their turn again. So I guess just shoot the snake in the face. Feels like just shoot the snake in the face. I'm just gonna shoot the snake in the face. Hooray, we did one in gold. Woohoo. So we get a level two unknown module quality.
Oh, okay, so that's a converter that changes from red to anything. Universal color. And this is generates one energy whenever plasma is created. Oh. Is that blue? Yeah, okay. The converter seems more useful right now. We'll stick that in our backpack. I guess we should remember we can always sell these when we get back to camp. Okay, one more fight, then a boss, and then camp. Uh, okay. Grab Cobra and what are they called? Grab sh Grab Minor Shroom? It's probably just a little typo. Okay. Uh, none of our sloppers are, <laughs> are injured just yet. Oh no, when they've got a little thingy on, we can't swap them between the characters. A little lock symbol. Interesting. So I don't think there's any point pushing the snake back. We've already got a lot of potions, so I guess maybe it makes sense just to generate some plasma for us. Yeah, stuff it. Now, question. If I do this, put that into there, which converts it to white, which means I can pass it into green, which will add one, and then I can put that into there, right? That's just better, isn't it? Then I could take out the mushroom in one, which I think is more annoying. Screw it, let's see what happens. Yeah, okay, and they both go into cooldown, which is fine. Let me just take out that mushroom. Interesting. We're not in the best, like, shiny gold, but still, I think that made sense. Let me just do this again. Yeah, stuff it. Let's just do this again. got gold but not like best gold uh, whenever a module of a different type on this rack should receive cooldown change the target to another module of a different type on this rack instead oh that's too confusing for me or generates one energy whenever I think yeah, I don't really care about either of those so let's skip them and get the plasma all right what's the oh what are you Grav pylon in the early days of Gravitronics. People would use these to power their homes. They tended to discharge when they weren't properly grounded. These ones do not look grounded. Feels might whenever the turn order is changed. Moves all might to deal that much damage to an energy. Oh, okay. So lots of stuff going on with that one. Right. So we are first again. Sounds like you maybe don't want to faff with the turn order here. What I might do is I might put that in there. Put that in here. Do that there. That'll make us change the turn order again. Guess is there any way that we can do yeah, we can easily take this out before it does anything, to be fair. Yeah, maybe we'll do the healing. And on the next turn we can do that as well. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So on this turn we 
attack the pylon for one, and we do a healing. Oh. Oh, I meant to wire that in first. Well, I fluff that. Never mind. We're going to do another healing next turn, so it's not a big deal. Uh, we'll knock that out. Let's just make sure we've done that. I'm not being a Muppet this time. Okay, so that will do... That will do two damage. We don't actually want to do two damage right now. We just want to do one damage in there. So I'll store that in there. But I forgot it heals the owner. Okay, learning. If I do one damage, I'll store that in there to do another big hit on that next time. Yeah, okay. So that's that done. We've stored a bunch of energy in there for our next turn. This is going to do weird nonsense. Great. Great, he says, not having any idea what he's going to do now. But I know next time that's going to go into there and that's going to go into there. So that means we probably want this one doing something, but we don't need it to do that here, because that's not going to happen until next turn, so we might as well move that wire. If we do this, it will push the spore back, but it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think it really matters. Oh, it might matter back here, though. Okay, yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, it matters later on. Because now we can have turns before the mushroom has a turn again. Although, it's about to, like, push us all back again, and... Yeah, okay. So, if, if that's the case, we actually want to wire that into there, I think... That two going into there. Do an extra two damage. That going into there for a healing. to it. It'll push it back a bit more, which is useful, because then we'll have another turn beforehand. Oh, it, well, yeah. Mm. Yeah, not sure. Let's just do it. Oh, I forgot I probably needed to heal them. Oh well. They'll get one healing at the end of this, I guess. Push them back. Shoot them again. Cool. Now this can go through here and up to here. That would do two damage. And we'll just, yeah, feed that to keep healing us. That makes sense. really, really hurt. Okay, so I don't want to kill the boss this time because I want to use the healing on the other character before I move on. So, hey, guess guess what? You get to do that. And I think you should make a potion. Right, stuff it. You can go into there. That should all be fine. We'll decelerate them just because. 
Make some money, we'll make a new potion. Gotta heal on you. Yes, now the, pr mm, the problem is here I can't use that. All my other things are on cooldown. Would make more sense here just to... No, they're both on cooldown, but that's fine. We don't need it. Would make more sense just to knock this one out. Or anything more happens. Okay. Okay, what are you? Plasma Combusting Amplifier. Adds one energy to the current. Activation uses up one plasma. And activated receives cooldown for one turn. Or a regeneration cell. Oh, again, I don't really care about any of those. Maybe that's worth some more money. Yeah, we need to know how much the things are worth. Whether it's cheaper or better to just skip them. All right. So we're back at our camp. Put down one plasma as a down payment for this. We can do fires module workshop. Okay. Well, I guess let's build that then. There we go. Now we can do campfire. Additional module has an option for loot. That sounds good. Vending machine. Buy cracked modules for one plasma. Oh, wow, there's a lot of kind of buildings we can make. So it looks like we need to make the we need to make the campfire and the refinery here before we can do anything else. Let's just check what is in here. Oh, okay, the costs are bigger than I was hoping for. What does that give? That's only plus one plasma. I should have taken the everything. Why is this? Permanently removes overload from target module on the rack, or permanently removes my function from target on the rack. I replace it with overload. Toggle to activate during voltage sequences. Oh, that's confusing. What's this? Generates one energy on activation. Grav recoil. Activation inflicts the owner with plus two. So it's like... Well, it's not as good as that one, to be fair. We'll sell. I guess we can come back here if we need to. Yeah. Let's go see how else we can spend our money. I think the campfire just sounds like a generally good idea. And I can't just get it all this time, so let's just put the down payment on all of those. There's nothing else we can do this time. Uh, I could heal up. I don't think I will uh, Johnson, but I will Jackson. Is there anything from here I want then? It's one energy whenever a module is constructed. Oh, that's actually really good. So that constructs a module when we use it. And it's red. I love you. Okay. Let's continue the adventure. I'm sure if you've played this before, I am playing this terribly. Okay, Dinosaur Graveyard. In these wastelands, a powerful Grav Blast must have unextincted the dinosaurs. That's quite the phrase. And then re-extincted them. And then unex re unextincted them. Oh, the phrase kept going. This is the only explanation I come up with for why there are, at the same time, fossilized and roaming the earth. Yike, those footprints look big. Oh no, <laughs> that sounds bad. Oh, oh, you are, uh, you are a pterodactyl, yeah. Rise up. Rises above the player's characters on the timeline. 
Oh no, so they're reordering up here, because if they're higher up, they go before us if we're the same. Flick itself with minus one, swoop down attack. Deals two damage to all enemies on the same time step. Oh god, I wasn't expecting attacks to be based on positions up here. Oh no. <laughs> Six blow the players on the timeline. Fix itself with plus two. Right. Right. Okay, first things first. I'm going to heal Johnson. Then I'm going to store that. You'll also do a thing. I don't think I can store you. really commonly. I want you to push back. That happens. Uh, right, is this wired up okay? I think so. That will heal us. Can't. That's a storage one, so we can't do that out straight away. Great. Cool, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, this game has got a lot more complicated a lot more quickly than I was expecting. Uh, so I can push them back already with these and shoot them with this. Yeah, yeah, I know you're going to start discharge at the end of this turn. I don't need to heal, but I could make a new healing thing, which would power this up. But is there, there's no point powering that up right now, because I'll just feed into there. Should do a healing. But these are on cooldown. Ah, uh, just give me some money. Accelerate them, make sure they're not on the same column as us. So that's apparently bad. Oh yeah, look, you've got the... That's what that is obviously saying. They're going to crash down. It can damage you if you're underneath them. Oh man, okay. Same that's on cooldown, because I've always got to root that all the way up through and get like a free. If we do that, and then... I guess we do that. So that will happen next time when hopefully other things have come off cooldown. This is important to remember we don't need to do the condenser immediately. Right now we don't want to push it back too because that will then put it exactly above us. Which is bad. So... That will do a healing. That can go into there. So we put that there, which generates a module. We can feed that into there, maybe. Yeah, let's see if that works. I'm a bit baffled. Oh yeah, so it's lined up to be above us there. Nuts. Okay. But I think that's okay, because I think if we do this, we'll take it out before it kills us. Then we've got all that stored for next time. Wow, okay, so this gets really really thinky very quickly. What are you? Distributes energy alternating 
over both output jacks starting with the left one. Oh wow, so that turns red to green or blue? I don't like it. Health Enhancer. It permanently increases the owner's max HP by one and then applies one healing to them. Yes, I do want that though. That's good. We'll have you, please. Put you in the backpack for whoever needs you. Okay, so we have a choice of routes. We can either go one, two, three, shop. One, two, three, shop. Or one, two, three, shop. It doesn't look like there's much difference between the bottom and the top rows. Let's go to the bottom row. Oh, yep, yeah, stuff is stuff is occurring. Right. Important. This doesn't have to be used immediately. We can save this. What are you? Graviraptor, <laughs> of course. Does one damage to an enemy and applies minus one to all allies. You are a Graviraptor egg. Noxus brooding fills might and inflicts one module with pollution. I, mm, if might is full, it will spawn a Graviraptor. Oh no! Right. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Ha. Huh. Oh dear. Uh I want to destroy at least one of the eggs before anything happens if we can. So we have something coming out there that we can make worth two, which is good. Can't convert that green to anything else, but that can that can also do. Yeah, so I think we have to, so we don't waste this. Do this, save that storage, put that into there for next turn. I think that's the best we can do right now. Use that to destroy that egg before anything happens. Ow. Oh god, what's that? Activation this turn will do one damage to the own... Uh, no. So we don't have to use that. It would be quite nice to use that. The other option is... Just... Lump that. Attack that for one. Push that back for two. Yeah, I think that's better. Push that back behind our next go. Heal that. Then on this turn. Yeah, great. We're all healed up. Grab this back. Use this to make it. We use this to make a money. Oh, I can't feed it through there because it's on cooldown. Oh, nuts! Yeah, maybe this is wasting that power. Probably wasting that power, isn't it? Oh, this gets tricky very quickly. Myself more money then. Just put that. It. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm suddenly really at a loss. Let's just put that back in there so we have another healing waiting for us. Uh, 
Okay. Gas money, do a damage, push it back. Just out of gold, I know is that, but that's fine. Just feed that into there, keep that stored next turn, put that into there so we don't waste it. That should get us out of this fight. Grab one of those so we can upgrade both of their health. Oh, okay, so we've got a little encounter. Duplicate a module of your choice. Oh. Oh. increase their max health at this stage. Although, I guess we can... Oh, no, wait. We could duplicate a generator, couldn't we? Duplicate of that would have green... all the time? And also blue? Interesting. Interesting. saying I'm not allowed to I think you're saying I'm not allowed to duplicate the really good ones sadly right in which case duplicate that one right next fight oh no you're different oh stuff's happening from last time dinosaur egg Hatch dinosaur. It takes two mites to hatch. Right. Let's just get these out of the way for a second. Uh, what have I got? Uh, we've got those and those. That's fine. We want to destroy the egg soon. Destroy you. So I can just take that one out if I want to. I think I want to take the egg out before it hatches. So let's do that, into that, into that. Which will give us free damage against the egg. But then I'm not using that again. You only do one damage, right? Yeah, you only do one damage. Although... I can't use that anyway, I don't think. So yeah, we'll just have to... bin that for now. Let's switch one of these on. Switch this on. My energy leads to a better constructed module. Oh. Okay, so whatever happens, we want to do one damage to that egg. It must be quite nice to heal, but we're going to hurt ourselves in here. We can put that into there to do push back three turns. Really, a point though, so I'm going to put that in there to make a better module. 
think. I think. I don't really want to construct a module, but I don't have the ability to store this. So yeah, let's just do that. This one. Push something back by two or by three. Let's push that raptor back because it might try and fiddle to get forward some. Dinosaur comes out. Gives our health to all of this stuff. Ow. Oh, we've made a much better healing potion. Oh boy, a lot of stuff just happened. <laughs> like a lot of stuff just happened. Okay. Okay. So, let's put that into there to store it. That's what will increase our health. Feed that into there for healing, we'll feed that into there for one more attack so we can take up that raptor. I might be able to do it in best gold. Oh, except I don't think you can actually do enough damage to do it in best gold, can you? That's frustrating. So close. Yeah, we don't need to push them back. We don't need to push you back, so let's feed that in for money. One attack and we'll finish them off. With the other slopper. So that's healed them, great. Uh, and then we can just... Just do a basic attack, I think, and that should knock them out. Okay, we can get a decelerator module, if we want another decelerator module. Might not be a bad idea, but some more options with Slopper Johnson, with our thing here. It's getting a bit, a bit output heavy and a bit input light. Hello, what are you? Are you a shop? You're a module vending machine, great. What are you? Changes the colour of a current, adds one energy to the current if wired directly to a sensor module. That just adds one energy to the current, so we can take a blue current and make it better and turn it into a red current. That just... That just generates an extra energy. Great. It's a thing. Generates one energy whenever a grav charge is applied to a player character goes on cooldown, because that happens all the time. Oh, man. I think I would like another generator, you know. That's worth two money if we were to sell that, but I think we'll keep that, because moving them backwards is useful. Let's buy another generator for ourselves. Let's go fight the boss. Let's hope we generate some plasma. Oh, what are you? Soul detection. Raises might be one whenever an ally is defeated. That's bad. Someone's a graver up to egg or grants an existing egg one might. That's bad. Who's all might triplicked? Oh, no. Right. Oh, no. Right. Yeah, we want to take them out really quickly if we can. Push them back, so we get another turn. It's that, yeah, that one there. Pushes them back. What can we do on this one? How much damage can we do? Right, so we can actually do 
up to three damage on our next turn from here if we use everything. Which I think we should. We could knock out that raptor egg if we wanted to. But we don't need to worry about that until it's next turn. So I'm thinking maybe we just need to take out them. Let's absolutely knacker them. Oh, no, no. Uh, yeah, sorry, my wiring is now becoming an absolute mess. But we're just going to have to deal with that, I think. Uh, right, okay. Oh yeah, we've not even, not even done that one. So that one can go in there for a healing. I think. Makes sense. Right, okay. Who do we want to push back? I think them. So we can have another go at them before the next turn. Ow. Right. Goodness. Um... You're quite wounded, but you're about to get a heal, so I'm not too worried about that. I can just do one more attack. If you want to decelerate. I don't think it matters. I don't know, as always, it matters further down the timeline. I want to decelerate the boss just in case. Attack the boss again. Right, this will get us another raptor that we just have to deal with, I suspect. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, oh, so that goes into there, that will charge that up. Yeah, let's just do one more damage to the boss, try and take them down. Just let that we'll let that one dissipate, I think. Useful for later, they've come off cooldown. Of course that raptor is hatched. Ow. Okay, so we can now destroy the boss and hopefully we can move that one back. This and also Potentially, let's just use this to heal ourselves. So we've taken a bit of a beating. We want to decelerate. What? They're only decelerating by one. That's an issue. Let's push him back for later in the timeline. Get rid of the boss. At least that means we get no more eggs. Okay. And just put two into here to just knock one out completely. Put that into there to push one of them back. That can go into there for healing. I did say we needed some plasma as well. Oh, well, we... Mm. could do to maximize my plasma in this boss fight. Do this rather than the healing. 
do this old trick, which gets us two plasma. You want to push, you want to push back yeah, that one because we're going to kill that one now. Great. Take that one, knock that one out. That won't kill it. But we'll get another go before gold's up. So what I'm thinking is that's just ah uh, locked. So we can't just do what I want you to do. That makes a lot of sense, game. In which case, let's do that instead. Accelerate them. Right, then on this turn... On this turn we can decelerate them again. Not that will help hugely. But we could do one damage, get one plasma, Guess we take them out. Might as well go in. Oh, that's on cooldown. Well, fine then. If there's anything I can grab from this deck. Ooh, ooh. No, it won't really help. And we can't grab that one. That one's locked. Fine. We'll do that then. And knock them back, knock them out. Few. And we got goodest loots. Uh, it's another decelerator or another grav sensor. Hmm. Not so sure about the grav sensor's utility. I guess we'll grab that and continue. Go back to camp. And I'm just going to pause here just for one second. And I'll be back in just two minutes. All right, welcome back to this run of Rogue Voltage. So we've done the two first areas. We've done the bog marshes and the dinosaur area. Uh, we've got a bit of plasma left to spend. I don't think we can really afford... Oh, God, what's that? Well, that's a dirty generator that's just always polluted but generates two. Um... Place a permanent upgrade plus one to target pass through module on this rack. Oh, that is oh, that is good though. We want that. Are these worth anything? Not negotiable. Not negotiable. Oh, it, oh I see. It says on them when they're worth anything. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I want that. On that very much. Let's upgrade that one. All right, so we're going to sell something. So sell that. Am I going to sell that? No. Sell that. Buy the pass for upgrader.
then we can create the campfire. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Lovely campfire. And what's that? Refinery. Leave a module here and it'll be enhanced by your next camp visit. Interesting. And we'll do that one as well. That uses up all our plasma. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, this is such a mess. Hopefully that will help us. All right, let's continue the adventure. We are going to the volcano, which I'm sure is fine. Hmm. That skittering in the dark is another strange collection of creatures. They have lived down here for compressed eons and can easily avoid the eruptions. We'll have to watch where and where, where and when we step in order to avoid the emissions of lava. We should probably take off our coats. Mm -mm. Oh, good. So, oh, I think I get how these work now. If you're in these steps, you'll get damaged by the eruption. That's what it means when we step. Oh, no. Right. First things first. Let's turn this on. So we can upgrade that at some point. Second things second. We need to heal this this slopper. Be activated during voltage sequence. I wonder when during. Let's assume it's going to be activated at the best time for us in the sequence, which is a really, really bad assumption. really know how you'd make sure it's on for one. I don't really know how you'd make sure it's activated first or whenever. Fine. Great. It was activated when I was hoping, so we can do plus one there. It means we're doing attacker free, which means we can just take out that bug in one shot. Beautiful. That's healed us. I didn't think about it. And I forgot to wire up the sensor correctly, which I totally could have done. Nuts. Okay, fine, it happens. We're learning the game. I guess the good thing is, because we didn't use it, it's dissipated. So what we could do is we can actually just use that in here and do that again. Because we need to heal them up anyway. So, what can Nats do? I never looked. Burning Sting deals one damage and plus one to an enemy, inflicts one module with fire. I assume fire is bad. <laughs> and you can quote me. You can quote me on that. Generally, fire is bad. Uh, fine, let's do that. Want to push one of them back into the volcano? Yeah, so we push them back there. They'll get hit by that volcano. You know how much the damage the volcano does? Two. So not terrible. Not terrible at all. Oh! Oh, that's really on fire. Oh, no. <laughs> Everything is suddenly on fire. Oh, no. Okay. Good thing. The volcano did work how I expected. Bad thing. Everything's on fire. Just activate this again. I've really piled everything into my other person's deck. Let's push you back. Let's shoot you and get rid of you. Right, what does fire do? Activate this turn to extinguish or to do one damage to the owner after their turn. Lock to rack while on, while on fire. That's a really lovely little fire effect as well. Okay. So. Right. That's going to charge that. Fine, let's leave that. Let's activate that to push them back so that doesn't go bad on us. And 
Let's do that to there, so that doesn't go on fire to us. Fine. Yeah, we have not done this well according to this. Oh, goodness, now you're on fire. Um... Fine, let's do it. Th You're out of order. Oh, no, uh, no. I didn't know that's what right clicking that did. Stop right clicking it. Okay. Oh, I don't want to push them anyway because they're currently in the path of a storm, except the storm doesn't seem to attack them automatically. He's in the path of a storm now. Oh, no. Okay, right. So we're going to... Yeah, fine. Put you on there so you don't go on fire. Use that to push me. So now I see why you might want to push your own teammates about. Okay. This turn, nothing's on fire. That is good. I think what we want to do is put that into there to save up, feed this through our complicated jibbles. That will do four damage. It's enough to kill them straight away. Then uh, I guess we just give ourselves a plasma and also another healing. I think that makes sense. It does seem to be a thing about these activating left to right as well. I'll have to pay attention to it at some point. Okay, right. What do we have? Storage cell can be discharged for two energy. Stores energy throughout turns of battles. On activation, this module will construct a copy of itself. This copy is on cooldown and loses one replication. So that's just free energy to this go one the turn after. Vulner um, vulnerability ray one, effect a module. Are you an effect a module? Yeah, okay. It's got a cross that we'd have to break off. Inflix. Target enemy with vulnerable. Duration energy times three. Prevents module activation. First incoming. Blah, blah, blah. Amplification adds one to incoming energy. When activated, receives cooldown for one turn. That's a recoil. Yeah, fine. I think. Let's give this to you, because you need something additional. Although now I realize you don't have anything. That can generate red. So that might not work. Well, I've bought it now. Oh, I could send that to you, couldn't I? You do have something that generates red. Interesting. All right, what are our routes? We've got one, two, three, four, that way. One, two, three, four, that way. One, two, three, four, that way. Okay. So, we, I don't think we want to go through four battles. That seems bad. Don't think we want to go to the shop. So, it looks like the middle route. All right, what do we have? We have a, sn a volcano snail, molten exterior. Inflicts a module with fire whenever it takes damage. Oh. Deals one damage to an enemy and inflicts the module of self encrusting. Oh. <laughs> Stalactite. Stalactite. Molten exterior. Inflicts module of fire whenever it takes damage. Does grab imbalance stuff. Oh, no. Right. Okay. Um. Hmm. So I can't move any of them far enough back to go into there. I don't think I really want to shoot either of them just yet. 
So I think we generate that, we put that into there, and put that up to there, just to get that crust off. to store it. That seems like an easy one. That will get us free damage. Or alternatively... Feed that into there, which will add it plus one. Up there, it will make that knockback one, two, three, which is great, but then we can't do anything with this. So, yeah, let's do our say free damage. Do a normal push. Store that. Stag type, we're going to take that out next turn, most likely. Now. Right. So, annoyingly, if I don't use this, it will hurt me. Although, I don't. It's just one. I don't think I care. Instead, what I'm going to do. Oh, no, actually, I can use that on there. Perfect. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do. Hook it up on cooldown. Nuts. So I can't generate anything. So, well, I guess that's just a free plasma for us then. Let's just keep knocking, knocking the slug back as much as we can. that out. So we've got to use this but to take put out the fire, but then it will encrust it. Ah, oh, that's so mean. So mean. Okay. Put that into there for a healing. Put that into there to attack the slug. Sorry, the volcano snail, I should say. Yeah, that's probably the best we can do. So keep pushing the snail back. It sets fire to another one of our things. use that. Let's do a healing potion. Go. Cool. Okay. Let's use that to unencrust that. First off. to push them back in time anymore. They're vulnerable, so I only need to hit them for two. There's no easy way for me to hit 
them for two. Like I could do that to hit them for two. That to get more plasma, but then would have the issue of that needs to be unencrusted. But that's probably better. So we're gonna heal next turn anyway. Yeah, stuff it. I'm doing it. Phew, okay. And we can have a green to blue chargey majibble. It's probably not a bad idea for them, actually. Because then we can do more damage with them. Oh, wow. One that detects when energy is destroyed. Uh, the module's destroyed, which happens all the time for us. But yeah, I like, I like that for them. Alright, I'm going to keep going down the middle. What are you? Oh, an actual phoenix. Oh, and an egg. Oh, no. Uh, attack deals one damage to an enemy, flicks one fire on... The feet leaves a phoenix egg. Of course it does. Incoming damage by the volcano is transformed to might instead. Might is full, it destroys itself to spawn a phoenix. Right, so, we can't let them get fire on them, and also... Yeah, they can just hatch. So, we want to get rid of the egg as soon as possible, as usual. I'm thinking we go a bit basic in this turn and just power up for next turn. Interesting. This, maybe what we do is this and then push them back into the volcano. I think that kills them when they're a phoenix, at least. Weirdly. leaves us with a new egg. Fine. I'm sort of amazed that worked how I expected. That's great. Okay, so if I use this this turn, it will do me damage, but I can just save it up if I want to. So... Yeah, and we need to move that egg out of the volcano or it will hatch immediately. So, let's do that. Let's save it up. Let's move that egg out of the volcano eruption, because that's bad. Let's destroy that egg. Okay. Don't think we can destroy the egg from our side this time. Do one damage to it here. Got enough to do damage to it there anyway, so... I think I'm going to do this instead. Charge all that stuff up. And get us some currency. Ah, oh, it's polluted that, but you know what? Stuff it. Just going to use that to destroy that egg. Then, I guess we can't transfer that because it's locked till next turn. Yeah. So I guess let's just do the other things. Oh, 
I should have hooked that up. It doesn't matter though, because it wouldn't make any effect this turn. Uh, let's be fine. Incinerate you out of the volcano just in case. Doesn't matter, because we've destroyed all the eggs. Right, oh, what are you? Beginning of each battle applies plus one healing to the owner. That's just quite nice. Amplifier module. Let's just grab that, I think. Cool. To an encounter. Raise the durability of the module. What does that mean? Permanent removes overloaded from a target module on this track. All permanent removes malfunctioning from a target module. Place it with overloaded. Cool, so that will just make that one better. So yeah, let's definitely take that. What's this? Applies healing to all allies on activation. Yes, yeah, so we've got a replication one. Okay. Let's put blue into that. That's fine. Goodbye. Right. Okay then. Oh no, what are you? No, not you, you the bot. Are you just grab armor, burning debris? This is one burning debris modules each into their rack. That is probably bad. That is probably very bad. Okay, which are you again? Yeah, the durability enhancer. I wanted you on. Sort you out. Uh, there's nothing in you. Oh, okay, I'm slightly terrified here. Right, let's do that. Let's put one of these on the board so we have some space in our backpack. Well, that's got something in it already. It's got a charge. Let's feed that into there so we can do a more powerful attack next turn. Oh, we can just remove the overload so it, the cooldown's never there. That's actually much better than I realised. Okay. So you have malfunction, then cooldown, then just can use every turn. Interesting. Let's push the boss back as far as we can, I think. And maybe just start chipping away at the boss while we're at it. So we've got two charge in here, which is interesting. There's no point putting it in there anyway, so let's do that. Let's put you back in there. Oh! Bags. Didn't mean to do that. Never mind. Just trying to look what its ability was. Oh, a lot of stuff just happened. Oh, a lot of stuff is still happening. Burning Debris have no effect. Right, so it just ruins modules until we use them. That's not great. That's not great at all. Okay, let's put you on there. See if this left-right thing makes sense, because I want to make that vulnerable for the rest of the things trigger. Let's not care about the thing that pushes you back in time. Yeah, 
Okay, so they do seem to activate left to right, which means I can now make that, like, really vulnerable. Oh, I think this means the vulnerability goes on for longer, in fact. That's fine. He says with desperation in his voice, what are you? Oh, I can't remember what that was. Is that just a new thing they put in? That's just a new thing they put in that you have to get rid of. Okay, let's feed that into the attack. That'll then get, hopefully get destroyed by the volcano anyway. Feed that into there. Stalactites moved it out of the volcano range. Oh no. <laughs> oh, so much stuff. Okay. So, quite a lot of things happened. I'm not sure any of them were good. That's no longer vulnerable, but it really I really need to destroy it. I'm also quite wounded. So Put that in there to attack it. Let's put that into there to get rid of that. Let's put that into there to get rid of that when I use my healing. But I'm not using my healing because I forgot that I had to also use my healing. Nuts. Right. Right. I think that's good. Get rid of that. The burning debris is a nightmare. Right. Burning a debris. Oh, it pushed me into the volcano. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that's so bad. Um, but I've chained a whole bunch of stuff now. That applies healing to all enemies. But that requires a blue input. Go on there, so let's put that in there. Just straight out of the gate because boy do we need some healing because that boss was a nightmare look how far we've been pushed back on everything oh goodness okay we've got this which is stored up because oh whenever they create the burning debris it's also charging that that's interesting this has got two in it which we can put somewhere as well I think let's plug that into the vulnerable... Oh, that's on cooldown. Great. That will just dissipate, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, I want to do attacking. Question. Can I... Borrow that module quickly, please? Like, but the greens are there, and that becomes red which doesn't really help us. Can I also borrow that module please? <laughs> okay, so that will now give us four attack. Great. So that will destroy something. That's hooked up to there. That means we can hook that up to there, then up to there to destroy the other debris. I think is really important. And in the end, I think I forgot to hook that up to anything. Probably should have hooked it up to that thing. 
but it is what it is now. And somehow that ended up doing six damage. Oh, because I guess I healed, which put more into there. Oh boy, okay. Oh, this is... Yeah, this game has become a whole thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we want to do three damage to that. Each time we do it, it's going to do fire. Uh, everything's on cooldown. I'm just going to have to take some fire damage, I think. So I need to do some damage to it. And then we'll use that to... Might as well get a plasma out of it. Right. Is there any way that I can do two damage to this here? I don't think there is, but it will get destroyed by the volcano. I don't think I have to care. So we'll heal ourselves up. And I think we'll make another potion. Oh, I didn't hook that up to something again. Ah. I should have hooked that up to something. Yep. Silly, silly Muppet. Oh, goodness. There's just so much to keep track of when you get to that stage. That Yeah, I was forgetting to hook up some of the important like detectors and things as well. Okay, apparently we won that run, so that's good. We completed 22 levels, we defeated 15 creatures, unlocked 37 points, generated 169 energy, 111 damage, 16 plasma, 49 heals. Current run difficulty, beginner. Yep, that sounds about right. Continue to unlocks. Oh. Uh, scrambled logic. The geograph or gyrograph is all over the place. And look at my breakfast. These eggs have unscrambled themselves. If you don't understand what's caused the time distortions, we risk getting unscrambled too. We've unlocked the might magnet. Picks up might from a combatant as energy. Uh, generates one energy whenever a storage module is charged. Goodness. Destroy another target module on this rack to gain two energy. We've unlocked a new character. Construct stronger and stronger battery cells. Oh wow, there's loads of characters to unlock. I, can't, I just can't wait till this hassle blows over. Hand me the grav piston and sugar shake while you're at it. A prodigy gravineer. There's nothing in the camp. Kimmy can't fix or break. He looks at the slopper robbers, but he outruns all of them. Sports the allies for potions and deceleration. I'm just going to say that these two are going to head out for now. Select a difficulty beginner. You are still learning about the mechanics of. Uh, rogue Voltage, minus 40 enemy HP scaling, plus 1 battle rating handicap, plus 6 storm handicap, also of normal, hard and impossible. Okay, I'm going to do another beginner one. Okay. Oh, and that's interesting. There are different areas as well as you go through. But on that note, I think I'm going to end it there because I think we've got a pretty good view of... Yeah, it's just back to where we are. I think we've got a bit, pretty good view here of what Rogue Voltage is all about, right? We... Uh, basically, get a bunch of modules put them in the deck 
or our kind of um, modular rack and wire them all up and hopefully attack the enemies effectively. And there's obviously some... Hey, Ashley Pox. Just here as we're wrapping up. There's obviously some really interesting combos and mechanics you can do because there's all those sensor modules that detect when you've done something else. So you can do something and then rely on the sensor module picking it up to do something else. And you can see near the end of that last run, we were getting to really complicated interactions and overlaps and combos from all the different things to the extent that I was losing the ability to follow them all a little bit, which is fine because we we're at the end of the run and that just gives you a bit of a higher skill ceiling, which I think is really interesting. Um, game's currently on sale, I think for 50% off for the next kind of week and a bit when this went out. And yeah, I definitely will be playing more of this because I'm interested by the different characters and the different areas or the different abilities. It's kind of strange to play a game where the turn order and the ter positioning in the turn order is so important. The fact you can push people into being hit by volcanic eruptions and sometimes that good and sometimes that bad. And the fact that some enemies wanted to be above you in the turn order as well so they can then like attack downwards is really interesting. So yeah, there's a lot of very cool and weird ideas here. And so far it looks pretty polished for an early access. We didn't run into any major bugs. The tutorial was really good. Uh, I can't really speak to the balancing because I've only done one run. But I think this might take a bit of a place in my gaming pantheon in the same area as things like Peglin or Balatro, where it's, I want to maybe spend an hour or so just doing a run of something interesting. I think this is a bit more thinky than either of those games. I definitely think you need to pay a bit more attention to how stuff's done because you're constantly having to rewire and unwire and fiddle with your layout. But it's, it is really interesting. So kudos to the developers of this. I haven't played anything quite like this before. And I mean that in a really complimentary and fun way. So yeah, fingers crossed the early access goes well for them. Yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of Peglin and Balatro. I like Peglin a bit more than Balatro, if I'm honest. But it is, it's interesting and, a, and weird, and I am all about the interesting and weird um, for games like this. Yeah, so, you know, take a look, see what you think of it. Uh, there's also a demo on the Steam store if you want to check it out first, which is always good. And I can't speak for it, but there is a colorblind mode if you have issues with the um, inputs and outputs being red, green, and blue. I don't quite know how that works, but, you know, it's nice that the developer has thought about that introductory kind of accessibility thing in early access as well. It's always really important. So, yeah. I'll definitely be playing this again. Might do a stream again on this when I'm back to see how it changes. But for now... Yeah, thanks so much for watching, and go check out the demo if you're interested. Cheers very much.